Yes, I see. Mm. Ah, my good friend. You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came? You saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Glory. Now then, how would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Uh, size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. Goblins struck fear and awe in heart of a wilting witness. A mythweaver. This man has no respect for truth. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? Witness mistook obvious silver dragon for brass. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the Absolute when they fell upon the gates? They did, didn't they? Oh, oh, curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one, a captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! Never you mind. I'm on my way to their camp as we speak. I always knew my studies in Gukliak would come to some use. Oh, never you mind. Who needs mercy when you've a quick tongue, hmm? Huh? And an invisibility potion stashed in your back pocket. Until we meet again. I smell. <laughs> with fragulous crown and with scepter a braid, draw Ragslin, short work of the innkeeper made. <laughs> <laughs> the inn burnt to ash. The captives were many. Goblin kind had. Reduce them to cowering filfenny. So raise it, your goblets, and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin, the true soul, had led you galad. <laughs> Why, I never. You, move off! Do as she says, now. <clears throat> now, where was I, huh? Wait a tick. That a friend of yours? Oh, certainly not. What are you doing? I'm busy here. You lying. To you? Never. Come, let's continue our ballad. <clears throat> Uh, draw Ragslin, uh, draw Ragslin. Um, uh, uh, um, uh, I am a uh, draw Ragslin. Um, um, come choose, uh, uh, draw Ragslin. Uh, um. You broke him. Wait, wait. Uh, draw Ragslin. We pray. We uh, come on, pigeon. Back to your cage. Now, look what you've done. Run. Of course, man. My name's Gribbo, idiot! Right, yes. Not fool me. All the great chasers are dead. Money cob, split foot, talk for detail. Legends! <laughs> One more round.
Oi, Ribbo! There's the prisoner. Don't go bothering my pigeon! He's mine! Keep him safe. Listen to him coo. Till I get hungry or some such. What's it to ya? Then catch one on your own! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. All right, all right, calm down. I don't want no trouble. Here's the key. Pigeon's all yours. Quite saved! A joy to see a familiar face in such a precarious setting. I guarantee the story of your daring rescue of my person will live on for eons. I intend to do just that. A trusty invisibility potion goes a long way in a place like this. <laughs> we mustn't tarry, but I hate for our friendship to end here. Please, won't you meet me once we've both slipped the goblin yoke? Smashing! Soon, my friend. Soon we can share the flagon of something liquid and a tale of daring do. I'll slip away when the coast is clear. See you soon, my friend. I simply can't wait to pick your brain! Good fellow. Quite the cosy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flayers, cultists, and, of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> Why, I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. As a matter of fact, I do. But why do you? That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. I can't attest to the specifics, but I do know that not long after insertion, the host, that's you, turns into a mind flayer. As there's not a tentacle on your head, I can only assume you haven't been infected. If what you say were true, you'd be a mind flayer by now. You? Infected by a mind flayer? <laughs> Ridiculous. Isn't it? Perhaps that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. If I just peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh! Dear sweet gods! If 
we managed it, we'd have a specimen of incredible rarity on our hands. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted.